this was a thing, if this wasn't ET, extraterrestrial presence, men in black. <laughs> Been covering it up since day one. Yep. Neuralizing, erasing film, all of the above. Uh, so th there are a couple of explanations that have been posited uh, as a kind of a, perhaps a source of what Lonnie Zamora saw. And and really, like to most of them, it's like, you know, I mean, you can you can look them up and, we, you know, we'll go through them right here real quick. But a lot of them is like to me, even me thinking them through, I'm like, eh, I don't know, even a couple of them don't sit uh, sit well with me. So so one of the more. I think one of the more popular explanations is that um, it, around the same time, 1964, NASA was actually testing uh, the early engineering model of Surveyor, the original lunar probe yeah. that was going to go to the moon um, in 1966. And so the testing was actually performed at Holloman Air Force Base. Now, if you guys are familiar with the the, the structure of like the Surveyor, there's like no, you know, just thinking about it, you're like, there's no way. You'd no be semblance. Like, at I was all. like, no, it's all no. it's all jagged angles. It's all like stuff like that. You wouldn't describe there's... it as an smooth metallic egg mm, no and especially yeah. that you know the struts especially when the, the surveyor is like two separate pieces it's like there's the bottom platform part that is is, is you know that when the lunar when they're done and they get in back into the the module like the module blasts off and you leave the platform behind so it's like that would have been left there and it's i'm pretty sure it's still on the moon yeah. like, like and, <laughs> well and the other thing is it would have been fucking slapped with NASA logos all over it, right? Yeah, like, well, not necessarily yet. Yeah, I think, American I flags, think even, some I think NASA. Even, I think even in a test run, it would have had that shit on. It. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. And I don't think they would have been like oh, either. Would have had, <laughs> fly it away. <laughs> either would have had uh, NASA logos or swastikas on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what it so what if it, so let's say if they're testing it at Holloman. Did they just go off course and they landed? Not yeah, too far it's away really from the, like it's the highway. Kind of far though, and it's like it is way like all, even Holloman Air Force Base is like a way away, and it's like you would have to, it's, it would be a a monumental nav, nav like navigation snafu to be like major yeah, malfunction. Oh yeah. no way! Uh, definitely. And also, fucking Lonnie Zamora would have had it been like his eyesight so bad to be like it's a silver egg. Yeah. No. Like, no, dude, that guy had HD wraparounds. Those green fucking aviators <laughs> they had yeah. on, like, those like there's, there's insane. just like no way. Like the, I, I've seen that as like the leading theory, and I'm like, how the f it doesn't even add up. It doesn't even look similar. There's nothing to me that says that it would be uh, the surveyor. None of these do. Uh, <laughs> another another explanation is possibly so. Apparently, uh, Linus Pauling. Uh, who is a famous chemist? Uh, and he's he's well known apparently in in the chemistry circles as a, he's a two time Nobel Prize winner. He won one for two time, two, two time. time. Um, he won one for chemistry, and he won one, an, an actual like a Nobel Peace Prize. After his death, a letter was found in his files in his personal correspondence in 1968, um, which he had sent to Sterling Colgate, who had been at that time the president of new mexico tech and he uh, and so at the bottom there was a there was a handwritten reply and there was a postscript in this letter and pauline apparently had asked colgate what the people at new mexico tech thought about the lonnie zamora incident like the actually you know it had become popular to that point you know enough that people kind of around the area knew about it and it around the state and and colgate said that he, he colgate is said to have, have wrote, written back i have a good indication of a student who engineered hoax student has left yeah cover uh, up now the thing is i'm like if you think there's um i'm sure in different towns and university towns in because like in Kelowna, the engineering program usually does some sort of engineering hoax every year uh most of the time it has to do with sneaking and they suspend something off the bottom of the bridge yeah right like i can't remember what it's what it's been in the past but usually they suspend something right off uh, the bottom. So as that's the engineering hoax i'm like the like i kind of looked into this because like 
what was it? He were he worked at the campus. Was he a security guard or a teacher? He was or a security guard. Security guard for many years. They're not and well I, liked. Yeah, him. people hated him. So the the theory goes that you know they were like we're gonna fuck with him. So they got together with all the other students on campus and they set up the you know the AV club. You know the fucking energetics lab had pyrotechnics going off. They had students that. Uh, you know, race through town to get his attention to draw him out to this location, and then the ship was nothing more than a balloon with a candle in it, right? And you're like at, at all point, I'm like, this what is about the explosion. This is, this is you know, well, that was just the fucking classic dynamite that everyone had. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, that everybody has on hand <laughs> in New Mexico. Yeah. Pocket mm-hmm. dynamite. Yeah, pocket dynamite. Uh, the thing is, I'm like, okay, sure. Like if that's if you're gonna tell me that's what it is. This is fucking 19, what, 64? 64. Yeah. If they're going to set up enough speaker system to, like, to actually, uh, they're going to set up a speaker system in the desert to shake Zamora while he's in pursuit of a car on the highway. They're not just packing that shit up and leaving in 1964. Right, like that's station, like that whole the whole thing of this being some sort of university hoax to me is ludicrous because I I can't even begin to start piecing together how this would work in any sense of it. Well, the, the biggest well, that's why you for don't me, go to an engineering biggest... school. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. but fair the, enough, fair the biggest enough. thing for me, it's like there, there's no there's no fucking gotcha good fucker moment. No, like they don't even know that they fucked with them. Well, and I would. Well, I, what's the point of hoaxing well, somebody? I would say that that's that's also brought up. Like that 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 idea is brought that makes up. Sense. But then you have the thing: the military and federal authorities showed up the next day. If you hop out and say, "Hey, fuck you, I got you," you've got the FBI and you've got the United States military involved breathing down your necks. So that's probably something. Upset. And you're in a prestigious school I'm, and you know engineering program. Know probably don't want to get involved <laughs> the, i'm just saying remember, the uh, likelihood of this is fucking almost no way remember like wacky racers and or like better example like james bond you remember how he had like oil slicks and everything in his car and guns yeah. and all this other cool shit maybe these fucking teenagers they just had a fucking escape mechanism in their trunk to hit it fucking thing flies up goes that way cop gets distracted they get away well it was like yeah they said they told like they they said like one of the theories is that it was nothing more than a balloon with a candle that was being towed by a vehicle to make it look like it was taking off. I'm like, you would have seen the fucking vehicle. Like it's not this isn't none of this adds up. Right? To for me for to just be able to be like it was a it was those pesky kids again. Pesky kids again. Yeah, I mean it is it is a really weird hoax because you're like you're like, okay, no like uh like is alien thing big enough to be like yeah we're gonna hoax him usually you kind of you want to make it kind of personal i would imagine like it, it just seems like lonnie zamora never had i mean he never really you want, you go on and want to embarrass him right you could embarrass him and stuff him, but it's yeah. still like yeah you want to kind of do something that's personal and like 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 andrew said i would imagine you want to be something like haha got you like remember me asshole like you know Sorry. um and and none of that because Lenny Zamora is not a person who's mm-hmm. ever spoken to UFOs or had uh, you know expressed interest in UFOs that, to, to most of the reports I believe. Um, this was just something that's like okay, like we're gonna catch him with this alien UFO prank, and it's like that seems kind of out of left field. <laughs> maybe they left like maybe they left way more evidence than they had planned to because they were gonna play this prank on him. He's gonna freak out, say I saw aliens, and assume nobody was gonna believe him, so everybody thought he was crazy. But people actually believed them because they saw evidence when they came to the scene. What well, if they didn't want evidence? Yeah, they wouldn't have lit the fucking bush, <laughs> lit up the fucking. Yeah. Well, they, the and, candle. The things got a little crazy. The with candle. You know what's funny about the the description about the, the balloon with the candle is ex- that's the exact same description that David Weiss or Weiss said about the flat Earth. Why rockets were fake? They're nothing more than a, fi- a, a balloon with a firecracker attached to the bottom. Mm. Yeah. Seems legit. So it could yeah. be a flat Earth hoax too. <laughs> Same time. No, oh, it's good. Uh, um, one of the one of the more interesting explanations that I came across, or kind of thing that has a little bit, a few more kind of moving parts to it. Apparently, there is there is some people who think that this was this whole event was created 
uh, or thought out by the mayor of Socorro. Like this was, a, it was an event that he had kind of masterminded in order to drum up tourism. So, and like Socorro, the population of Socorro is. Like hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.